Dear students, please note down. These notes have been uploaded in the description of video. Please download your notes. Dear students, in this lecture of vision, today I will clear vertical section of skin. Skin or entanglement of vision, columbar livia, commonly it is called blue rock vision or it is wild rock vision. Dear students, the skin of pigeon, skin in case of birds, that is thin, it is dry, it is delicate, and skin is loosely attached to the underlying muscles which allow free movements for flight. The skin or integument of pigeon column Bolivia, it has two parts. This outer thin part is, it is epidermis. And dear students, this inner thick part is, it is dermis. First of all, I will clear epidermis. This epidermis, it consists of several layers. So it is stratum epithelium. And dear students, this epidermis, it is ectodermal in origin. It has three zones. This innermost layer, this innermost part of epidermis, this is stratum germinativum or it is stratum malpighi. No doubt, this innermost layer which consists of cuboidal cells and its cells are germinating in nature. Its cells having power of rapid mitotic divisions. So it is named stratum germinativum because its cells undergo mitotic divisions to give rise new cells. Dear students, this stratum germinativum, it is also named stratum malpighi. And this layer, it means this lowermost layer of epidermis. This is the only layer which rests on a basement membrane, a base cell lamina. This is the basement membrane on which this stratum germinativum rest, this middle joint, it is stratum corneum. And this stratum corneum consists of flat cornified cells. Dear students, this stratum corneum, this middle joint, it gives rise several exoskeletal structures like scales or corneous cutes present on hind limbs. In case of birds, the scales only present on hind limbs, on legs, on shank region. As well as this middle joint, it is stratum corneum. It gives rise. Rampothica on the bee. Class on the toes and the feathers which are derived from this middle zone, it is stratum corneum. Third zone is this outermost layer that produces epitracheum. It means this epidermis, it has three zones. This innermost layer, it is stratum germinativum. This middle zone that consists of several layers of flattened cells and this one is stratum corneum this stratum corneum having cornified cells and not down this stratum corneum this middle joint gives rise exoskeletal structures like class dear students like feathers like rampothica of beak as well as scales present on hind limbs and this outermost layer which is thin having flat cells, it is epitracheum. And the second part of skin or entanglement of pigeon that is dermis. This dermis is further having two zones. This outer and this outer part, it is made up of loose connective tissue. While this inner part having compact connective tissue. And in this compact innermost part, these 
fat cells or adipocytes are present while in this outer loose connective tissue which is made up of muscle fibers nerve fibers blood vessels blood capillaries as well as lymph capillaries are present in this outer loose connective tissue of dermis and dear students in this innermost compact part in this compact part the fat cells adipocytes are present here in case of pigeon the skin without any glands except on tail region uropygium the only gland which is oil which is preen gland which is uropygial or that is coccygeal gland is present dear students otherwise entire skin of pigeon in all birds the skin without any gland except on tail region that is oil gland that is preen gland and dear students the skin without any sweat gland so it is dry in dry conditions in during hot weathers the bird cool themselves by panting like dogs because over skin no sweat gland dear student this is all about skin or integument of pigeon that structure it has two parts this one is epidermis and this epidermis it is ectodermal in origin having three zones this innermost layer it is stratum germinativum it is stratum malpighi its cells are cuboidal which undergo mitotic divisions due to rapid mitotic divisions the new cells are formed which help in repairing regeneration of skin and this middle zone very important this middle zone it is stratum corneum and this stratum corneum having cornified flat cells and dear students this stratum corneum that gives rise exoskeletal structures like scales like rampothica on the beak like claws on toes like feathers present on the body and this dermis that is made up of loose connective tissue in this outer zone and here compact connective tissue with fat cell adipocytes not down in case of skin of bird skin of pigeon no pigment cell no melanocytes the melanocytes of skin migrate to the scales or in feather 